Now the last set of tools I want to look at in this video series are the mesh tools. Meshes are not strictly an editing tool because they actually create sets of planar polygon shapes from the surface of a solid or a surface element or from a set of contours or a set of points. This is a pretty complex set of tools. I only want to discuss the main mesh creation tool here. I'll leave it to you to look at the remainder of the mesh creation and editing tools. So first we need to open the mesh toolboxes and we'll do that through tools and toolboxes. And we need meshes. Here we go. We have meshes and mesh utilities. I will open both of those and say, OK, here's my meshes and here's my mesh utilities. And let's float the main mesh toolbox. This is create meshes. And I'm working with this tool here, which is mesh from element. And on the screen, I've got a sphere and a cylinder. Looking at the tool settings window for the mesh tool, we have a couple of choices. We can create mesh elements as the output or mesh shapes. We'll stay with mesh elements for the second. And we have some settings. We have chord tolerance, which defines the maximum deviation that the polygon shapes can be from the original element. We have the angle tolerance, which defines the maximum angle allowed between the normal directions of two adjacent polygons. We have the maximum edge length of each polygon, and we have the maximum number of edges for the polygons. That number can't be less than three, since you can't have a polygon with only two edges. So I simply data point on the sphere, and it breaks up into a series of polygons. Now, if I zoom in very closely on the edge here, you'll see that we have gone from a round sphere to a series of individual polygons with straight edges. Same thing happens if I data point on the cylinder. Now this is a sphere which has been changed into polygons, but if I undo everything, let's undo both of those, and let's change the output to shapes and click on my sphere, it looks exactly the same. But if I now take my element selection tool, I can go in and select the various polygons and remove them from the sphere shape. So that's what the second output method does. It creates movable shapes. So try that for yourself and experiment with different settings for the mesh creation tool and see what results you get. Might also have a look at some of the other tools here. For example, mesh creation from contours. In other words, you draw a series of contour lines in space, use the mesh tools to mesh between the contour lines, and you can create mesh from points and various other options too. So I want to show you one more. Let me undo what I just did. And I'm going to look at this one on the mesh utilities, which is this one, which is unfold the mesh. Similar to the unfold surfaces that we used in the previous videos, but before I can do that, I have to go backwards and change my mesh from a mesh shape to a mesh element. Data point on that. There's my mesh element. And now I can use the unfold. And I need to select the element. And it wants a point to unfold about. Well, let's pick the center point here. And then if we zoom out, we see the unfolded sphere in terms of the individual polygons that makes up the mesh. So that's meshes. So please experiment, particularly if this is your area of expertise again.